Medvedev, those of the samurai who feel especially sad can commit seppuku. Don't forget Hiroshima. Introduction. Hello everyone and welcome to the Capture the Intelligence channel. Today we are going to dive deep into the rising tensions in Northeast Asia triggered by North Korea's latest missile launch, Russia's saber rattling toward Japan and the escalating rift between the United States and China. North Korea's strategic missile test North Korea has once again flexed its military muscle by test firing a strategic cruise missile known as the Arrow. This missile is reportedly capable of carrying a tactical nuclear warhead and has a range of 1,000 to 2,000 kilometers. The test launch is a clear indication of North Korea's growing military capabilities and poses a significant threat to regional security. Russia's aggressive stance toward Japan adding to the tensions in the region. Russia has issued a series of bellicose statements aimed at Japan. The military Medvedev, the deputy chairman of Russia's Security Council, declared that the Kara Islands, also known as the Northern Territories, belong to Russia and will be equipped with new weapons including nuclear capabilities. He also invoked the specter of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, warning Japan not to forget the consequences of aligning with the United States, China's assertiveness in the Taiwan Strait, further complicating the geopolitical landscape. China has asserted its claim over Taiwan by by stating that there is no so-called median line in the Taiwan Strait. This move is seen as an attempt to further pressure Taiwan and could potentially lead to increased military tensions in the region. U.S.-China trade friction and diplomatic tensions The relationship between the United States and China continues to deteriorate with the U.S. expressing concerns over China's electric vehicles posing a national security risk. The Biden administration is considering imposing tariffs on China. Chinese-made vehicles and implementing measures to protect personal information of Americans. Furthermore, China has protested against the U.S. border enforcement's treatment of Chinese students with valid visas and the Department of Homeland Security's raids on Chinese companies in the U.S. These incidents further strain the already tense relations between the two superpowers. U.S. response and heightened tensions in response to these developments. The United States is reported preparing a response with President Biden, stating that a plan of action will be presented by the end of this week. The U.S. is considering various options including military action to counter the threats posed by China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea. This heightened state of tension could potentially escalate into a major conflict. Analysis and Implications The recent actions and statements by North Korea, Russia, China, and the United States have significantly escalated tensions in Northeast Asia. These developments underscore the complex and fragile geopolitical landscape in the region where multiple actors with competing interests are vying for power and influence. The test firing of the strategic cruise missile by North Korea is a clear provocation that demonstrates its growing military capabilities and its willingness to challenge the international community. Russia's aggressive stance toward Japan, threatening to deploy nuclear weapons on the Korean island Islands further heightens tensions and raises concerns about a potential military conflict. China's assertiveness in the Taiwan Strait and its ongoing trade disputes with the United States add to the volatile mix of regional dynamics. The U.S.-China relationship is at a particularly low point with both sides engaging in diplomatic spats and economic tit-for-tat measures. The United States is facing the challenge of balancing its commitments to its allies in the region while also also addressing the growing threats posed by China, Russia, and North Korea. The Biden administration's response to these challenges will have far-reaching implications for the stability and security of Northeast Asia. Conclusion The situation in Northeast Asia is a tinderbox of tensions with multiple flashpoints that could potentially ignite a major conflict. The test firing of missiles, the deployment of nuclear weapons, and the escalating rhetoric between regional powers are all alarming signs that that demand careful attention and diplomatic efforts to de-escalate the situation as we continue to monitor these developments. It is crucial to stay informed and engaged in discussions about the complex geopolitical landscape of Northeast Asia. Your understanding of these issues can help shape public opinion and influence policymakers to work toward peaceful resolutions. Additional analysis According to expert commentators, the United States is quietly transitioning into 
into a different state, characterized by a new legal framework that allows for stricter measures to counter threats from China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea. This shift indicates a hardening of the U.S. stance against these adversaries and suggests that more assertive actions may be taken in the future. Furthermore, analysts believe that China's ability to overturn the current geopolitical dynamics is diminishing due to the U.S.'s unwavering recognition of the threats posed by the axis of evil nations. The lack of another Kissinger figure in the U.S. administration further solidifies this assessment, implying that a diplomatic solution may be challenging to achieve. These observations add another layer of complexity to the already tense situation in Northeast Asia. The potential consequences of this evolving geopolitical landscape are vast and could have long-lasting implications for regional and global stability. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, share, and destroy that subscribe button. Also stay tuned for the latest current affairs on the Capture the Intelligence channel by staying informed and engaged in these discussions. You can contribute to shaping public opinion and influencing policymakers to prioritize diplomatic solutions and work towards a more peaceful and stable Northeast Asia.